Wow, those bar models are way clearer than yours. They are, aren't they? And that handwriting is way neater than yours. I know, you're right. Did you do maths like that when you were in primary school? Uh, let's get started with today's video. So yesterday we were looking at sum and difference problems and you use equipment and bar models to break that problem down, show it in different ways. Well today we're going to introduce lots of different types of challenges. That a lot of the questions look very different, but actually some of them are quite similar. Um, and we're really going to deepen your understanding. There's lots of different challenges that we're going to dig into. First of all, a quick recap on where we left off yesterday. Well, yesterday we were looking at using equipment and bar modelling to build understanding. Oh, some of the examples that have come through. So clear. And the way you've been able to design your own questions. Really thoughtful. Here, just a few examples that have been sent through. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to extend our understanding of this structure of problem and see how lots of different worded maths problems follow this structure. So we looked at this example. 20 children, six more girls than boys. How many girls? How many boys? So more girls than boys, six more girls than boys. That must leave 14 children. Seven more girls and seven more boys. So in total, how many girls? 13. How many boys? 7. Well, have a look at this. Different question, different context. The sum of two numbers is 20. The difference is 6. What are the numbers? What would number 1 be? What would number 2 be? Well, of course, exactly the same bar model. Still a difference of 6. What will be left? 14. Half that difference. Have a look at this. In total, Zoe and Lucy have £20. Zoe has £6 more than Lucy. Again, a different context, but again, exactly the same picture that matches to it. Here's an example of a question where um, I, I'd ask you to think of your own question using this, th this structure. And this is one of the ones that, that came through. So Oliver and Thomas weigh 78 kilograms. Oliver weighs 16 kilograms more. How much do they both weigh? Pause the video and have a go. Okay, dokie, let's have a look. Um, I feel like I'll almost be out of a job because I'm just sharing all your examples now. Here we can see the bar model. So 78 kilograms in total. We subtract that amount that Oliver weighs more, the 16 kilograms, um, and then that leaves us with 62 kilograms and we half that difference. So Thomas weighs 31 and Oliver, well, he weighs 31 plus 16, 47. Well done and thank you. Well, today we're moving on to, we're still doing some and difference challenges, but here we're looking at questions in different contexts. Now, just a little heads up. If you look at all the questions and you think, actually, I can have more challenge, I've got a couple of suggestions for you. One, can anyone write a question where the answer is seven? In fact, let me beat that. Can you think of two different questions that you could write? For each of them, the answer's got to be seven. The second challenge I want to give you is this. Can you think of a question where the answer is not a whole number using this structure? What could that question be? I would love to see any examples of, of those questions. We're going to explore different context questions in more detail now. Now, the way that I've ordered things is slightly different today. So, you'll find this video from either um, all home lessons, or maybe you're on home learning year five and six, like this page here. But wherever you are, you'll go underneath the video and click on today's task, year five and six, and that will bring up the different tasks for you to have a go at. Uh, as normal, we've got different tasks to choose from. Task A, task B, and task C, and again, the answers are on the next page, just like normal. Um, now, task A, the, all tasks involve using the same maths, if you want to use equipment to show your learning, I'd maybe have a go at task A, because the quantities are small enough that you don't need too many things to do that. Um, but the thing that's really different is now I'm going to show in the video the, the way of working out the um, questions that are in red. So we're going to have a look at for task A, question one, for task B, question two, and for task C, we're going to have a go at question three. 
by the way, that one, it's one of my favourites. It's surprisingly difficult and it shows that there can be real challenge even when the numbers used are, are fairly small. So be interested how you get on with that one. It's up to you, the order that you use this video now. You might want to have a go at the questions before you watch the rest of the video. You might use the rest of the video to check how accurately um, and whether you've worked out the answer in the same way that I'm demonstrating. Um, equally, it might be you think, well, I'm going to watch the video first, so maybe if you're having a go at task B, you might think, I'm going to watch how question two is done first, and then I'll have a go at answering question one and question three by myself. It's entirely up to you. Do whatever you think is going to help your learning best. Now, I'm going to turn back to the video and we're going to unpick those three questions. So here goes. We're going to have a look at those three questions from your tasks. Again, you might be looking at this before you do the questions. It might be after. There are 14 children at the park. Four more girls than boys. How many girls? How many boys? Again, I'm going to show you a park complete bar model um, to break this question down. So there are more girls than boys. So I've drawn the girls bar as longer. And that difference, there are four more girls than boys. Now, Pause the video and just have a think. How will this bar model be completed? And shall we see? Well, there must be 10 more children in total for there to be 14 children in total at the park. So that will have to be five more girls and five more boys. So in total, there'll be nine girls and five boys. Let's have a look at the next one. Dev and Holly have 70 pounds in total. Dev has £20 more than Holly. How much do Dev and Holly have? So Dev again has got more than Holly. Uh, it's £20 more. Now have a look at this. Hmm. I wonder if you can spot the mistake. What mistake's been made? Well, Dev and Holly have £70 in total. In this bar model, this has been represented. So Dev has £70, not Dev and Holly have £70. Mm, so how will the bar model need to look different? Dev has got £20 more. That leaves £50 that otherwise is split equally between Dev and Holly. Um, so Holly would have £25, Dev £45. I love this question. Think of two numbers. The sum of my numbers is 11. The difference between my numbers is four. What are my numbers? Mm. Numbers with sum, a sum of 11, seven and four. That's a difference of three. Um, how about I'll try this? I need to make that difference bigger. Eight and three. The difference there, that's five. Hmm. Is this question impossible? I wonder. Have a think. The answers are in the answer section of the task questions. Is this impossible to answer or not? Why not? Mm, love to get your thoughts. So I hope you enjoy all these different challenges. It's been just an amazing thrill seeing all your work and everything. It's really kept me going, so thank you so much for that. I'll be back on Monday, so I'll see you then for episode six. It'll be released then.